good morning here in uh pretty cold weather about as cold as it gets in the mid-atlantic region here um got the d4506 um gonna give this thing a cold weather start see how it does so the block is reading what do we got up there so we're reading about between 10 and 10 and 11 fahrenheit so Let's see how this thing starts up in the cold weather here. The preheat is the starter knob right here. Um, you pull that out halfway to engage the heating element. Heating element sits right here behind this coupling. So you can see it's reading, you know, kind of a single digits Fahrenheit. So the manual says to preheat so there we go i've just pulled that knob out halfway and i don't know if you saw that in the video but i'm gonna there's two status lights there um, there might be a status light that says if it you know the preheat's on or not but i just look at the color of those so see they got brighter pull that out again so i know the uh preheat's pulling watt pulling watts through it the the book has directions for you know extreme cold weather starting it says to run the heater for, its language says perhaps two minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna run this for uh, about a minute and a half or so, I think. Uh, the manual has, you know, directions on operating these tractors in Arctic conditions with negative 50 Fahrenheit. So I'm not exactly sure what they mean by, you know, cold weather starts. They could be talking 50 below zero or something. So for the full two minutes, so I'm gonna run it for, you know, like I said, about a minute and a half here. Check the temperature and, and see how this thing will start. All right, probably closer to two minutes there. I wasn't quite paying attention to the time. All right, so that's reading on the metal there. You know, uh, anywhere, hard to get a good reading, but yeah, somewhere around 200 Fahrenheit. Pull off the battery tender. Make sure I'm not. All right. Let's give it a go. Got about a third throttle, and we'll see if it starts. <laughs> Yeah.